in a world of arcades made out of space where games were, ah uh, crap, I can't think of a dramatic way to explain the premise of this game, because it doesn't have a premise, so I can't make up a dramatic one either. How much do you cost? Well, I guess I'll be getting mega spread after this. Strength in groups. Stop, stop using teamwork. Stop, stop that. Stop reading those motivational posters we put up in the lobby. Just, just stop it. It's decreasing your productivity. Just, just stop that. This teamwork is not appreciated. This is not synergy. This is not real synergy, people. This is just inappropriate. I'll be having a discussion with HR. We're gonna have to sit down about this. This is just wrong. We can't have this in a 21st century workplace. Shoving lasers in all sorts of orifices where they don't belong is just not appropriate in a workplace environment. Nor is it appropriate in any environment. This is just wrong. Let's smart bomb. Okay, smart bomb kills all of the things, but it does not erase the bullets. So why is it called a smart bomb? The smart bomb is always the thing... Yeah, we're buying that. It's always the thing that... What the crap? Um, I hate this gun. Um, what the crap? This is a very unfocused weapon. I do not care for it, because I can't do much forward damage. Um, on the on the plus and minus side, it's kind of like why aim with that weapon. Um, I guess the good part about being able to skip levels is that I can just check out the next one. Though, see, this is really bad for those armored enemies, because I can... I really can't focus fire on them to destroy them. Okay, this was a terrible idea for a weapon upgrade. And, uh, frankly, I don't approve of it as an idea for a weapon in general. They should always be, you know, it's supposed to be a straight upgrade. So, why is this one so crappy? I mean, it... It doesn't have to only add on to the previous weapon, but it should be very clearly superior. This one's like, I guess for a wide fire level like this one was, it's good. But on the plus side, you can actually switch back to the old weapons if you get one that you don't like or something. I was initially unsure why you'd want to do that. I guess that's why you wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, we're gonna keep with that for now. Uh, whatever. Let's just continue on level 23. We'll, we'll go back and face our fears with level 21 after... Okay, this weapon's useless in this weapon. Hooray! Let's just die. Okay, let's go back to this. Let's go back to level 21. Kick it in the butt. Doesn't have a butt. But I'm going to find some sort of orifice to kick it in. See, orifice kicking is perfectly acceptable. Orifice lasering? Absolutely inappropriate. Just... Just... Just stop it. You're not impressing anyone. Whatever. Just pretend it's not an issue. Just pretend it's not an issue. Yeah, that's... That's real healthy. Just... Just pretend it's not there. Just pretend that my smart bombs don't kill you. I don't have smart bombs. Why well, don't have smart bombs? Crap. Smart bombs go, please. Yes. Why do I keep using the smart bomb button after I lose... After I lose all my health? So, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, this level is extremely difficult to do with the, um, without the focused fire, because these groups of enemies you really can't take down without the focused, you know, fire. Well, you stupid things and your firing lasers. Stop it. Okay. Thanks to some wasting large amounts of money, we got through that level. Let's never speak of it again. Ever. Ever. Okay. Definitely a lot better with... Okay, maybe it's not actually any better. Um, these are just kind of really annoying because I can't kill much of...
anything at all. Um, what are you doing? Oh. Odd. Whatever. Let's see, look how much damage it takes to kill one of those. I can never keep up with that. No, I guess we're kind of going in a bullet hell thing here. But I guess it really is a really predictable pattern. I guess if I just sit here. But this isn't any fun. I can just sit here and nothing bad ever happens. But that's not very fun at all. Is that just like the end of the level then? Okay, I don't approve of that level on for so many reasons. Um, and yeah, if I had never fired a shot, I probably could have gotten there out of there scot-free. Um, I guess I wouldn't have gotten money, but I don't know, whatever. Alright, I should probably get that other gun. I'm just very upset that the other gun doesn't have the good focused fire. Also, I'm gonna die and get... Those are those armored things again, though. I don't know if I can kill those with this gun. Okay, I just really need that mega spread. I really need to actually get some freaking money. I wish I should get a better magnet at some point. Though this isn't really doing that bad of a job. That's better. That is better. That is also better. Kinda- oh. That was probably the end, wasn't it? What was that level I was finding so easy? That level with lots of stuff to kill. It's apparently not this, because this level is boring as crap. Kill me. Oh wait, there is some stuff to kill. Not very much. The annoying thing is, if I want money, I have to find out certain levels to do that in, because not... Lots of these levels, it's very hard to actually kill a fair amount of things. I guess I'm getting some money out of this. I don't remember what the good money-getting levels were, though. And I'm not getting money very quickly anymore. Let's... Oh, good! You can see what, um, how much cash you collected on a level. Over to the right there. So that was a good one. Well, that was a crazy good one, actually. Yeah, we're going with 19. Hell yeah. Don't let... Th oh yeah, this one! This one had to be a crazy good money level, because there were crazy good enemies everywhere. This gun comes in handy here. Oh. Oh well. How much money do- oh, still have tons of money. Actually this gun isn't really that great here either. Because it doesn't really kill stuff very well at all. Half of this video is just me hating this gun so much. My hatred for this gun is just so important it deserves its own video. Welcome back, I just did a bunch of grinding at this level here. Uh, got this freaking sweet weapon, which makes grinding even easier. An annoying thing about how he does the upgrades though, well the game does the upgrades, a bit loud, is that you pick this up and it gives me a worse weapon than I'm currently equipped with. So that's not, it's not really an upgrade, is it? Yeah, I really don't approve of the fact that, you know, um, it happens in other levels too. The upgrades are really just a form of weapon. It just gives you that weapon for the rest of the level. So I have a better weapon and then, you know, I have this, which is the step up from this weapon, but then I collect it and then I'm stuck with this for the rest of the level. Uh, it really makes them, in a way it makes them very consistent because, you know, um, they always do the same thing once you know what power up it is. But the user really shouldn't have to be thinking about what power-up it is. It should really just be a power-up. You know, worst case, maybe I have the really good weapon and it doesn't do anything. But at the least, it should not downgrade my weapon. That's, that's really bad. But yeah, I ground at this level. This is where you do your grinding. Look at that. My best is 1,300 gold. I also went back and did some of the other levels. I got some... Mostly perfect. Um, so all you missed was a bunch of grinding and some slight severe thunderstorm. 
so no biggie. But yeah, this this weapon is a lot better to take out the armored enemies. Um, it's a lot better in every single freaking aspect. It doesn't have quite the range for everything. Oh right, I already beat this level. This was this level. I remember you now. But now I can actually kill things, so I feel less like I'm cheating, even though I did major grinding. But that level's really boring anyway, so whatever. This is the level I was actually on. So yeah, let's finish this. Also, the magnet ability, or the attractor, I think it's called. There's really no point, well, there's not much point to upgrading it beyond the level I have now. Because I almost never miss a gem, or a, a coin, no matter where they start. That was kind of laughably easy with this weapon, actually. Though I missed a lot of the enemies. Oh well. I do have enough money to get the, um, the final weapon, by the way. I'm gonna just wait on that, though. I'm gonna get another shield, though. Because I'm a coward. Longer levels from here on. Ah, good! That's a standard trick, though. The last, I guess, each row of levels kind of counts as a world. So now, we're in the last world, so the levels are a bit longer. I might go ahead and get the special weapon then. Well, the final weapon. The... An annoying thing about how the levels were sequenced is that good grinding level. Um, it really breaks the sequence of how you uh, progress through stuff. Because I really felt like I was just slogging through with no ability to upgrade anything for several levels there. But then I realized, oh hey, I just go back to that level and I can just grind the crap out of everything. A smoother upgrade curve would be a lot nicer. Also, that level's pretty abusable. Though you really need a better weapon to deal with it. Oh, interruptions. You're so crazy. Well, we beat that level. Let's go ahead and get oh, music. Let's go ahead and get that Omni Wave. This one actually does look like an upgrade because look at that. Yeah, it's much more spread out, but it does look pretty dang good. And I like the waviness. Look at that. It sort of fans back and forth. I really like it. And it at least mostly gives you a good shot forward. Or at least it occasionally gives you a very good shot forward. It'd be sort of nice if it fanned back and forth a bit faster, though, because it gives a pretty wide berth in the middle of your shot with no hits. You know, right around that cent there's that center shot, and then there's a whole bunch of wasted space. I'd kind of like that filled in more than the... I'd like the area in front of me hit more than the area around the sides, honestly. Because that allows me to direct my fire a lot better. But, unlike that yellow weapon, this weapon doesn't suck, so... I can't complain too much. Also, with this weapon, it may well be possible to get, to get the, uh... Perfect on some of the levels I thought were impossible to get it on. It definitely seemed... With all of the other weapons, it probably is. With this weapon, maybe not. And probably with some careful smart bombs, it may actually be probably pretty possible to get 100% on all, on all of them, actually. Oh, whoa, whoa. Speaking of careful smart bombs. Yeah, I'm not... I doubt there was any way to kill those guys without smart bombs, because they have those, that armor. We got... We got some more going on here? What... Okay. What was the little break for? Also, um, I realized when I went back I had completely forgotten about the speed up button. Completely forgot. Hello, Bix. Shut up. Um, I'd completely forgotten you could do that. Because it wasn't really necessary or even all that helpful in the later levels. But you can't actually use the speed up. Oh, I got so close. Oh, well. Let's upgrade our attractor a little bit. Oh, I could have up I should have upgraded health, I forgot. We still have some more of that to do. But yeah, see, you lose, even when money is on the other side of the screen, it goes to you, not down. So, the range is just so great that 
it's like why I'm not sure why I should upgrade it beyond this at all. Also death. I don't want to upgrade my death at all. <laughs> 